Hey guys, welcome back to the Foolish Show. Of course, I am Foolish Phil. It's been a while since I've done a video. To be honest, Michigan basketball is terrible. I'll watch them, and it's just like kind of repeat, repeat, repeat. So it's kind of like, what am I going to say that's going to be earth-shattering? But I thought I'd do one after Michigan's here. 84-76 uh, to 76 loss to Purdue today at home. Um, just one of those games where you just know Michigan's not going to be able to get that lead, and the whole second half, they would be kind of in the range of 11 to 7 points down. And they had a couple of chances, a couple of possessions where they could get it down to 5. And, you know, Doug McDonald kept missing floaters and floaters and floaters. You know, he led Michigan with 19 points, but it took him 20 shots to get there. So, not that great. It is what it is. Zach Eady is a complete beast. But I don't know. I was, I was chatting with my brother about this, texting him or uh, back and forth, like, what do you think about Purdue as a tournament team? I just don't see confidence in them. They got Edie, but their outside is just not very good. The one X factor is they got that you know, that transfer from Southern Illinois, Brooks, I think it was. He's a really good defender. He might be their X factor. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm not sold on Purdue. I don't know what you guys think, but that's getting off topic here a little bit. Michigan was up early, I think seven points. Then, you know... Well, the big turning point, you might say, was uh, Terrace Reed got his third foul, and then Purdue went, went on an 18-6 to run to end the first half. So, like, just crushing, right? Reed was gone with fouls, and he and um, Cheddar fouled out in the second half, both on fouls not against Edie, too, which Roy really hurts. But, you know, it is what it is. Another loss, I do got to just chuckle because the national media – is trying to defend Coach Howard, saying, oh, injuries and illnesses. Like, Kamwai got injured, like, last week, and sickness has happened this past week. It's not like that's the big downfall of Michigan basketball. It's like, no, Michigan's just not very good at playing complete basketball. So you can see how the national media doesn't really know the real story of the team because they just come in to, like, do one game, right? Like, oh, injuries, sicknesses. No, Michigan was terrible before two weeks ago when Kamal got injured. It might have even been this week, I think, before the Northwestern game where they, again, hung in there and lose. Is Michigan the best 8-20 and 20 basketball team ever? I really wonder. I bet they are. They can stay with these teams. They just can't get the win. You just got to look at one stat. I mean, it is what it is. 17 offensive rebounds for Purdue. 17. Just crazy. They shot... Pretty good, about 50%, and then they rebounded so many of their miss misses anyways. Like, crazy good. So, coming out of this game, two things. I actually was kind of rooting for Purdue, I'll be honest. I mean, if Michigan won the game, sweet. Don't get me wrong, it'd be like, hey. Like, if they were going to win any game, though, I really wish they wouldn't have blown the game to Michigan State last Saturday, where they, you know, they didn't score for like the last 10 minutes of the game. But I don't mind them losing this game for one reason. I don't really mind Purdue. Um, Painter does a pretty good job, and to be honest, I really dislike uh, Illinois and Brad Underwood much, much more. So I love it's more spite, right? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So I really don't like Illinois. So if Purdue can win the Big Ten, that means Illinois doesn't, and this win gives Purdue a two and a half game lead with three games to go. So okay, I can handle it. I mean, I didn't think Michigan would win. And I gotta say, it was at least an entertaining game. Sorry, my cat's rubbing against the camera here. If you see it shaking a little bit. No, Toby, no. Anyways. So, a little bit of spite there. And honestly, kind of like the way I started. Sorry about him shaking the camera. Do you really care about basketball? I, I'll be honest. I'm enjoying... Well, Michigan's basketball's been terrible. And I've been enjoying the joyfulness of Michigan's football national championship. I, to be honest, I probably have a problem. I watch, like, the Rose Bowl over and over and over. I watch Michigan-Ohio State over and over and over. Michigan-Washington, like, watch those Donovan Edwards touchdown runs over and over and over. San Rastil's pick, right? The Corum TD that sealed the game. I've been watching those and living in happiness. You know, I just, like, texting my buddies, like, pictures like, yeah, Michigan still won the national championship and stuff all over Twitter. I know X, but, like... It's like, whew, who cares? I'm living in a happy state. Why get bogged down by Michigan basketball, man? They're terrible. They're going to be terrible. Maybe Howard keeps his job because Ward Manuel's lazy. They might have a good recruiting class if they stay on. I think Michigan has like a top 50 guy coming in, supposedly. I mean, 
don't get me wrong, but I mean, you know, you had Diabate and Houston and Jet Howard were top guys too. And, you know, they didn't exactly do that great in college and they went one and done. So you really need those guys that are good, not great, like a Kobe Bufkin. He was good and he came back for a second year and did play really well. You need your guys to come be decent, good enough, and come back for a second year and maybe a third year. I mean, look forward to see if they stick around. What Doug McDaniel will look like next year. Terrace Reed. What about Cheddar as a senior? He's, you know, turning okay. I mean, what are these guys going to be like next year? At least build some depth, so some experience. Because, man, Michigan needs a lot of players. I mean, you realize it. Michigan has, like, two empty scholarships right now. Two players that could be on the team aren't even there. There's two empty scholarship slots, unless I've screwed that up. But I'm pretty sure that's right. Oh, men's basketball. Oh, well, like I said, positive thoughts. Michigan's a natural champion in football. Woo! <laughs> so I don't care so much about football. I'm sorry, basketball, because of football. Uh, hey, if you watch this, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you have any comments, put them in the box below. As I uh, in this, just thanks again for watching. If you have any comments, put them in the box. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else more. Eh, not so much. <laughs> hey, Michigan won the natural championship. Woo! I know, weird ending. Sorry about that rambling. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Until I see you guys next time, as always, go blue!